Well, we got a call this morning at about 4.40 a.m. Uh, from Primar Security. Uh, they had multiple alarms. There was fire alarms and motion detector alarms in multiple zones in the residence. The Preston Fire Department and the Miles Fire Department both responded. Uh, they arrived on scene and uh, noticed that the, uh, obviously observed the house was in, uh, totally destructed. A second caller said it maybe could have been storm damage. We called the National Weather Service. They had no verified storm damage uh, or high winds in the area. Uh, so then we started putting two and two together, uh, checked out with the damage and, and, the, and the debris patterns. Obviously, uh, it was maybe an explosion that we were thinking. Well, there was a, a debris pattern towards the highway. There's there's a debris that was that's in the cornfield behind uh, the main uh, structure there. Uh, so obviously, there was something with a lot of force that went on. Okay, something that had generated a, a lot of force. The uh, Preston Fire Chief Billy Adoff and, and one of our deputies went over to shut the gas off. Uh, one of the deputies heard somebody in the from the foundation. Uh, hollering, screaming. Uh, Deputy Corey Ketman and uh, Preston Fireman Lucas Schmidt jumped down into the foundation and crawled through the debris and found the man. Uh, he was extricated by Miles and Preston Fire Department, uh, subsequently transported to the uh, Jackson County Regional Medi Medical Center where he was then airlifted to uh, the University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics. Fire Marshal arrived. He's, he's done his thing. Um, the cause of the damage is still under investigation and that will be released later on by the state fire marshal's office when he concludes his investigation.